This is a video performing arithmetic on signed numbers. Question states, difference between the observed value and the expected value is called the residual. The observed values are negative 4, 2, and 5. The expected values are negative 3, 7, and negative 1. First find the residuals, and then find the sum of the residuals. So let's start by looking at the residuals. The residuals are the observed minus the expected. So for the first residual, I will take negative 4, which is the first observed, minus negative 3, which is the first expected. So negative 4 minus negative 3. When we do minus a negative, those two minus signs become a plus sign. And we can write this as negative 4 plus 3. Now, if we're taking a negative number and adding a positive number, that's the same thing as subtracting two positive numbers and then picking the sign of the largest of the positive numbers. So in particular, we take 4 minus 3, which is 1. And notice the larger number of 4 and 3 is 4, and that had a minus sign to start with. So that means that negative 4 minus negative 3 is negative 1. We take that 1 and make it negative. Now let's look at the next residual. We have a 2 and a 7. So I take 2 minus 7. When we subtract two numbers, and the second one is larger, what we can do is we can switch the order and then make the answer negative. Let's do that. We take 7 minus 2, and that equals to 5. So the answer of 2 minus 7 is equal to negative. 5. Now let's find the third residual. We have a 5 and a negative 1. So we take 5 minus negative 1. Just like the first example, minus minus becomes a plus. So 5 minus negative 1 is equal to 5 plus 1. And 5 plus 1 is just 6. So now we have the three residuals. Negative 1, negative 5, and 6. Next task is to find the sum of the residuals. To do that, we just take negative 1 plus negative 5 plus 6. And there we have it. Let's do negative 1 plus negative 5 first. When we add two negative numbers, we ignore the sign and just look at the positive numbers, 1 and 5, add those, and then make the final answer negative. In other words, 1 plus 5 is 6, and then we put a negative in front of that 6 to make it negative 6. Now we have negative 6 plus 6. Well, negative 6 plus 6 is the same as 6 minus 6, and 6 minus 6 is 0. And there's the sum of the residuals. The sum of negative 1 negative 5 and 6 is just 0. And I'm done with the problem. Thank you for watching this video.